Baron Hilton, the son of the original Conrad Hilton, founder of the Hilton Empire we know today, passed away in 2019 when he was in his early 90s. However, his stunning Holmby Hills mansion came up for sale a year after his passing for $75 million, and this home is certainly a sight to see. The historic Georgian colonial estate was where the legendary hotel owner and philanthropist lived before his passing, and it spanned a whopping 15,000 square feet of space. But is there any member of the Hilton family not living this luxuriously? The late Baron Hilton's sprawling property is in an exclusive area near Bel Air and Beverly Hills, and much of the original features of the home have been maintained. One of the most amazing features has got to be the Zodiac Pool, which features the 12 signs of the Zodiac. But more on that soon. Before we dive into this iconic Hilton family estate, let's talk a bit about who Baron was. William Baron Hilton, son of hotel magnate Conrad Hilton, had quite the impact on the Hilton family's legacy, mainly in the areas of business and sports. Born on October 23, 1927 in Dallas, Texas, William Barron, who went by his middle name, moved with his father Conrad to Los Angeles in 1937. As a teen, Barron worked at the townhouse in LA, parking cars for hotel guests. His rise to success is of course linked to his family's prominence in the hotel industry, and following in his father's footsteps, Barron became deeply involved in the management and expansion of the Hilton Hotels Corporation. Having attended the New Mexico Military Institute, the same academy his father went to, Barron sought a waiver to join the Navy at the age of 17, despite being below the required age. During basic training at Naval Station Great Lakes, a skills assessment revealed his talent as an amateur photographer. Because of this, Barron was deployed to Pearl Harbor as a photographer's mate in the ID lab, where he provided ID credentials for naval personnel returning from the Pacific Theater in World War II. While stationed in Pearl Harbor, Hilton fulfilled a childhood aspiration by taking flying lessons during his free time on Oahu, ultimately obtaining his private pilot's license. Following his discharge, he returned to the mainland and enrolled in the University of Southern California's Air Aeronautical School, earning his multi-engine rating. Flying remained a lifelong passion for Barron. Then in 1947, he married his childhood sweetheart, Marilyn Hawley, and together they established a large and close-knit family, blessed with eight children. Before entering the family biz, Barron also dedicated two decades to establishing himself as an entrepreneur. He acquired the Vitapak Citrus Products distributorship in LA and established several ventures like McDonald Oil Co., Air Finance Corporation, the Carte Blanche Credit Card, and the American Football League's Chargers. Serving as the president of the Chargers for six years, Hilton contributed significantly to their success. He secured five divisional titles and one AFL championship. He played a key role in orchestrating the merger with the NFL that gave rise to the Super Bowl. In 1966, the board of Hilton Hotels Corp invited him to assume the role of president and CEO, succeeding his father. However, this opportunity required him to relinquish his football responsibility. So he sold controlling interest in the Chargers for $10 million, setting a record at that time for any pro sports franchise. After Barron took over as the president and CEO of Hilton Hotels Corp, he held the position until 1996. During his time as CEO, he played a big role in expanding the Hilton brand globally, overseeing the construction and acquisition of numerous hotels and resorts. Under his leadership, the Hilton Hotels Corp became one of the leading hospitality companies in the world. In terms of his lifestyle, Barron enjoyed a life of luxury considering his status as a member of the Hilton family. However, he wasn't as publicly featured in the media as most of his other family members, maintaining a more private persona and life. Barron's commitment to philanthropy was also a big deal to him. He pledged to donate a big portion of his wealth to the Conrad N. Hilton Foundation, which focuses on humanitarian efforts worldwide. Located in the exclusive Holmby Hills area of Los Angeles, you'll find the former home of Baron Hilton, where the legendary hotel CEO and philanthropist lived with his family. After his passing at age 91, the home popped up on the market a year later in 2020 for $75 million. 
and the sale was being handled by Barron's son Rick Hilton and grandson Barron and Hilton, who double as realtors from Hilton and Highland. Barron Sr. owned the stunning property for over 50 years and kept it meticulously maintained. The mansion was designed in 1936 by Paul Revere Williams, an iconic architect who designed homes for Hollywood royalty from Frank Sinatra to Lucille Ball and more. The gorgeous Georgian colonial style mansion spans 15,000 square feet with a whopping 13 bedrooms throughout. Meanwhile, the home is special because over its 80 years of its existence, it didn't need to undergo any major changes, just some impressive maintenance. Known as the Paley House, the estate was made for Jay Paley, whose family founded CBS, and he owned the property until he passed in 1961. Then, Barron snagged the trophy home shortly after for $475,000, which would be equal to like $4 million these days. Interiors boast stunning rooms like the dining area, which is classic and timeless, offering room for a large group of guests as well as a fireplace and beautiful chandelier. There are also plenty of other common rooms throughout the mansion. Even in the era that Barron called this place home, this 2.55 acre property was in a highly sought after location, right beside Bel Air and Beverly Hills. Just a short walk from here was the estate of Jack Warner, the studio chief at Warner Brothers which was more recently purchased by Jeff Bezos for a groundbreaking $165 million. Grand wrought iron gates lead to a driveway and a circular motor court in front of the two-story white brick main residence that once belonged to Baron Hilton. Inside, the house boasts a blend of Bel Air and Georgian colonial architectural styles. Front steps lead to imposing double doors that open into a foyer featuring soaring ceilings and the trademark sweeping staircase designed by Paul Williams. A generous hallway with more double height ceilings spans the entire length of the residence, connecting numerous entertaining spaces. Among these, you'll find the wood paneled dining room, warm living rooms with fireplaces, a cozy bar, a games room, and a circular breakfast room next to a staff attended commercial kitchen, which is tucked away privately. Not to mention, there are 17 bathrooms throughout this mega mansion. Arguably one of the most impressive rooms in the mansion is also one of the smallest. The 200 square foot dark wood paneled study with its unique hexagon shaped window served as the home office for not one, but two influential business figures, CBS's Jay Paley and of course, Baron Hilton. There are plenty of plush bedrooms and most of them include their own private en suites and vanities, while two of them are dedicated master suites with a ton of space. We're talking even their own sitting rooms. According to Rick Hilton, Barron's son and the realtor, most of the Paul Williams design features were still in place in this home, including the metal sliding doors, the curved floor to ceiling paneled windows, circular breakfast room, and more. One of the most amazing features in the property is its Zodiac pool, which was also designed by Williams. The Olympic sized swimming pool is full of thousands of hand painted multicolored tiles from France and the mosaic includes the 12 signs of the zodiac in shades of gold, blue, and turquoise. Also out on the grounds, a Georgian style column surrounds one of the patios while there are several outdoor dining area options. There are fountains dotting the landscaped lawns as well as stunning reflecting pools and other amenities include a sunken tennis court, a pool house, and two mortar courts. There are even two guest houses elsewhere on the property. In a video that accompanied the listing, Rick remembers his late father's legendary parties where there would be as many as a thousand guests filling the lawns and tennis court. Rick said, One party that comes to mind is when we sold the Beverly Hilton to Merv Griffin. He got up to toast my father and said Baron Hilton has touched a lot of people in this room. He touched me for over a hundred million dollars. The whole crowd went crazy. In 2021, the Mega Bella mansion wound up selling for $61.5 million. During his 30 year tenure, Barron transformed his father Conrad's empire to one of the most recognizable hotel brands. He had two daughters and six sons, one of which is Rick, as well as 15 grandchildren, including Paris and Nikki Hilton, and a handful of great grandchildren. His wife, Marilyn Holly Hilton, died in 2004 after 60 years of marriage. After looking at Baron Hilton's one time home and his legacy, we're going to wrap up today's tour. But before we go, 
answer me this. If you inherited a mega business and esteemed name like the Hilton Hotel family, what would you most want to invest your money and time into? Let me know in the comments if you would follow in the same footsteps and enjoy the successes. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.